What's even more worrying is the fact we can't see. I wanted to find out whether changes in our food have altered even those of us who don't consider ourselves overweight. An MRI machine is about to show me the horrible truth. Hey, hi, Jack. How are you? That there may be quite a lot more fat in me than I think. We can actually look inside uh, your body to see how much fat you have externally and internally. OK, so you'll be able to see all the fat that is inside my body. Absolutely. The, your fat will have nowhere to hide. Professor Jimmy Bell is a research scientist working at Hammersmith Hospital in London. He studies how fat is distributed inside the body. We're just finishing this set. Yeah, and then we'll move on and do the axial images. After half an hour in the MRI machine, I'm nervous. <laughs> I will show you some of the images. The fat appears as white, very bright, white. Okay. So you got, as you see, fat external, which is what the subcutaneous fat is, fat we're all familiar mm. with. But the fat we're interested in is the fat here. It's this fat, what we call internal fat, especially a visceral or mm. intra-abdominal fat. And, and there does seem to be rather a lot of it. Rather well, worryingly it's, it's, for me. it's it's interesting that you have. Uh, very low levels of uh, external fat, subcutaneous fat, but you have considerable amount, I would say, more than one would expect for someone of your uh, size of internal fat, of visceral fat. You can see here, for example, your kidneys are actually swimming in a sea of fat. At a glance, I would say you have four to five litres of internal fat that you're carrying around your, your organs. Um, four to five litres? Yes. And is that normal? Um, we expect someone of your age and uh, someone who's fit to have less than two litres of internal wow. fat. Wow, so I've got twice as much fat inside, inside me as I should have. Inside, yeah. But you have to realise that someone who's actually very obese will carry, you know, 10 to 15 litres uh, of internal fat. You are a very good example of what we define as somewhat thin outside, so very little external fat, and fat inside. So that's a toffee, thin outside, fat inside. That's me, toffee, thin outside, fat inside. It's this kind of invisible obesity that threatens many of us. These hidden fat deposits put me at risk of diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Long term, this actually could be uh, quite troublesome for, for your health. And it's the same for millions of us. Unfortunate normality in the UK has become someone who is overweight or obese, who doesn't have enough sleep, who drinks too much and who works very long hours. It's believed our appetite for high-calorie foods came about 10,000 years ago, when we were hunter-gatherers. Now the food industry has made fattening foods available everywhere. We are cavemen that were moved from a cave into a supermarket and there are all these delicious things that I want to eat. And some of us restrain ourselves from doing it, other people find it very difficult. Genetically, we haven't changed, but our environment, our access to cheap food has changed. Well, we've been bombarded all day, every day, by the food industry to consume more and more food. That's their job, make money making us fat. It is a war. It's a war between our bodies and the accessibility that modern society gives us with food. And as a scientist, I feel really depressed because we are losing the war against obesity. 